Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for So in today's video, I am going to do a get ready with me. Without further ado, let's get started. off with my Rodan and Fields um, Radiant Defense. This is what I use every day. I do have the shades Sand and then also Beige. Um, with the Sand, I feel like it's a little too dark and Beige is a little too light. So um, what I do is go ahead and mix both of them together and I get like the perfect shade for, for my face. Uh, ever since I started to use the Radiant Defense, I don't use primer so yeah usually if I'm going on at night makeup look then I would use primer and then of course my foundation but because I don't know this is like my everyday go-to work situation <coughs> so I use about that much and that this is the this is the sand and then this one here is the beige whoops yeah I always put a little bit more beige than the than the sand, but yeah. So um, I do have these two colors. What I go in with this is the Rodan and Fields brush that did come with the Radiant Defense and it's kind of an angled kabuki brush. I would compare the Radiant Defense to like a BB or CC cream or a tinted moisturizer. It is good for your skin, of course. Um, ever since I've used this, it's like my skin's been amazing balls. But it does make my skin a little bit shiny, so I do set it with some powder. Um, what I use for my eyebrows. Um, I do have the MAC. And this is just for like my everyday brows. So I do use the MAC Espresso. And obviously this is super old. I've hit pan already. This is just my like everyday work or have to rush out the house makeup look. I'm going to use the Espresso by MAC and then of course with an angled brush. I obviously can't do my brows on camera. Okay. So, these are my brows. These are my brows. You know what? Let's put some, let's put some chapsticks on. Because you, know, oh, you guys all know that your girl has some type of issue with her crusty ass lips. Anyway, so I'm going to use this SPF Rodan and Fields um, chapstick. Next, I'm just gonna clean them up and then use some concealer under my eye. What I'm gonna do is go in with the um, Tarte Shape Tape and the color that I use is light medium. I heard that that was like a very, a very uh, popular color. And I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender. 
calendar. And That makes me look a little awake and a little all there. Anyway, so I'm gonna, just gonna get my shape tape and a flat straight brush. There is no right or wrong way to do makeup. It is art. And yeah, everyone's gonna do their makeup the way that they wanna do it. If you wanna use eyeshadow on your brows, if you wanna use lip liner as an eyeliner, you do you boo. Done with that, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Oops. I'm running out. I saw this for a while, but I'm running out. And since I don't want the shape tape to go anywhere, I tend to crease because I have oily skin. For my bronzer, I don't know, this is a, a, a small sipping brush. Also, when I'm done, I'll go back in with my Laura Mercier and just carve out my cheeks. eyes I will go in with the bronzer the same bronzer the Laguna bronzer and what I'll do I'll just put this all over my eyelid I will take my eyelash curler I just curl my lashes and get them ready for my um, mascara so what I use for my blush would be Tarte Parte Party with like 10 A's in there. And this is the color. that um, I am gonna go in with my I feel like I grew up on this mascara how much of you guys how many of you guys grew up on this mascara That's gonna make me like gleam when I walk through the room. Um, so what I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Eliminator, and I love this. I love this one. So after that, um, what I'm gonna do is take my beauty blender, and in, in the back, uh, I just because it's damp, I kind of just press it into my skin. And if I did want something more crazy and like more out there, then I would go ahead and um, press it into my skin with a damp beauty blender and then go over it again, apply more of the highlighter. And it's usually like, you can see a lot through the dough. I did get a request from one of my su subscribers to do my bun that I had um, during my video for what's in my bag. So that's what I'm gonna do today. It's super easy. 
and I am gonna go in with a little bit of serum and this is the anti-freeze serum from Garnier Fruit Peace. And I probably just do like two, two pumps. make it look as messy as possible. Everything doesn't have to be perfect. So what I do is I just get my hand under here. I start twisting it. So I don't put an actual hair tie in and then twist it into a bun. I just use one hair tie, twist my hair into a bun that way. And I just keep twisting and wrapping around find a place and then I get my hair tie and yeah so I just kind of let it let it hang loose and fix it that way so yeah so I just start to like pull down hairs pull down my baby hairs let it look all messy and whatnot. And then I start pinning. I just start pinning my hair together. And then again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the mess. I feel like the messier the better. some type of like hairspray I'll do that otherwise I don't make it like too perfect all right so um, this is the finished look this is the look that I do if I want to go to work or if I want to um, go ahead and run out of the house go grocery shopping I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time I will see you guys soon.